for over a year now, ads have been appearing on Facebook okay. uh, with my face loud and large uh, for about nine different things. And I, I had an advertising standards authority ruling against, well, let's call them legitimate companies who I think were playing fast and loose with my image. But they can't get rid of the scammers. And most of these are for scams. They're called Bitcoin code, Bitcoin trading. What happens is if you click the advert on Facebook, it then takes you to a fake Daily Mirror page or a fake BBC page or a fake This Morning page, which then has an explanation of how I've invested in this company. It's, you can't lose. You should put all your money in it. It's the best thing you've ever done. It's an easy way to make money from home, a get-rich-quick scheme. If you then go through to these, you put your details in, you'll start getting calls. And they will push you and push you hard to put money into what's called binary trading, which is something the regulator warns against, as do I. You shouldn't touch with a barge pole. Mm. And they lock you into this and they keep calling. And if you lose, well, you need to put more money in to win oh, back. No. And people get scammed out of it. Now, this has been going on. You have to forgive me, I'm wired. I didn't sleep last night. It's quite a nervous thing to do. It's not, I'm not my normal, <laughs> normal oh. self. So... Um, <clears throat> Over 50, and that's a conservative estimate, of these adverts have been appearing over the last year. Constantly, regularly. I get five messages a day from people asking me, are they real? And this is what happens. Eventually, when I find out about them, because, of course, they're served on algorithms, so not everybody sees them, so someone has to tell me, me and my team, then, and, we're, you know, I've got people spending half a week just doing this job of reporting these scam ads. Yes. Me and my team, we then report them to Facebook, who then, after a couple of weeks, if we're lucky, they take it down, and then, the next day, there's a new one. Mm. And Facebook says, the onus is on me to report it. Well, it's not my job to pay to please Facebook. They are being paid to publish adverts. This isn't like a normal t report and takedown on a web forum where someone's posted something. These are paid adverts for scammers outside the EU. Let me just it's get, not my, on, is it? Let me just really get my phone because um, there was something, uh, something this morning that, because uh, when I knew we were going to talk about this, um, I actually took a screen grab of it because it's part of the updates. Yeah. Um, and it says, turn on face recognition if you want to use this technology. If you turn this setting on, we'll use face recognition technology to understand when you might appear in photos, videos and the camera to do things such as help to protect you from strangers using your photo. So that's a start. Well, no, that's about posts. That's not about adverts. I mean, they're the leader in facial recognition. Now, it's How successful do you... Th I mean, realistically, how successful do you think you're going to be with this? Well, I'm already being successful because I'm talking about it. I'm on the front of every national newspaper, which means lots of vulnerable people will know these are fake ads yeah. and they're not real ones. So yeah. that's already a success. The issue, I've been defamed. I've very clearly been defamed. Someone with my reputation to be in get-rich-quick adverts that are for scams is a defamation. The two questions that are outstanding is Facebook will argue there's no UK jurisdiction over it because Facebook UK doesn't exist. Yeah. Right? And it will also argue it's not a publisher. Now, I think it's being paid to publish. This is a groundbreaking campaigning suit. I should make it clear, if I win and get damages, and we're asking for substantial damages, I will donate every penny to scam charities. Mm. This isn't a money-making scheme. I what do tell you think, you, what is the number? What do you think, what, do, what are you going for? I'd like millions, frankly, Phil. I don't know if I'll get it, but I'd like millions. But you know what I'd like more? I'd like Facebook to call me up tomorrow and say, Martin, you're right. We're going to allow you to go on a register where you can put your name on, and you two should do it as well if they offer it, and I'm doing yeah. it for everybody, right, that then says, if there's an advert with your picture or name in it, we'll notify you, and you can say whether it's right or not. Oh, I have it all the time. I have fake slimming pool adverts everywhere. And Deborah Meadon. And Meadon, to do with and, me. And Peter Jones and Richard Branson. And, and, you know, I was on Good Morning Britain this morning. Yeah. Piers has had them as well. I'm mm. sure you've probably had them, and if not, they're coming your way. And all I want to know is, well, in my case, it's easy. I don't do adverts, so any ad with my picture in it I don't do adverts. Mm. I don't do adverts. Any advert with my picture in it is not... It's a scam. It's a scam. And it's not that difficult. Mm. And yet, Facebook says the onus is on me. And it's costing me time and stress and upset. And I tell you, when I get these messages from people who normally people ask me to help them, but they contact me because they believe I have scammed them out of their money, Right? And they won't talk to me and they won't let them help me because you've scammed me, no, you've taken it. my money. I so, I uh, I we it. can tell, obviously, you are very angry about yeah. this and, uh, and, quite, and quite rightly. Yeah. Um, what will make you back down? Because I assume you'll go to the High Court with this. I don't... I, what will make... I'm not doing this 
took for a day in court, and I'm not doing this to win. I'm doing this to protect the vulnerable people. Just ten minutes before I came, I got this message. I won't say her name because she hasn't given me permission. So, I, well, you know, she says, I support you so much. I fortunately only lost £250 only. I followed the link on Facebook, and I have to say it's because it had you, Martin, on it. Oh. I was called for a week and really got to think it'd be good, although I did have my doubts. I should have listened to my doubts. I want to protect people. That's what I've spent my career doing. Yes, I people. hate, it sickens me that my name is being used to, to scam, uh, is being perverted in this way to scam people. So any, if Facebook calls me and says, we'll fix this, you guarantee we'll fix it. Wouldn't mind some costs as well, <laughs> the cost of going through this, but we'll guarantee we'll fix it. I'll take it. I won't go to court. I just want, to, just want it to stop. Let me read yeah. you their right of reply, because they say, we do not allow adverts which are misleading or false on Facebook and have explained to Martin Lewis that he should report any adverts that infringe his rights and they will be removed. We are in direct contact with his team, offering to help and promptly investigate their requests and only last week confirmed that several adverts and accounts that violated our advertising policies had been taken down. Why do I have to do the work to report the adverts? They're being paid. Over f one time, I'd accept. Over 50 times, and that's conservative. I would like to give you the real number, I think it is, but I'm, just because it's legal, I won't go higher. I mean, constantly, these adverts... There was one up last night, right? This is not a, oh, report it to us. Why should I have to spend time and money and efforts reporting to them? They're being paid. Paid to facilitate these scams.